In this problem, we're told the force exerted by the wind on the sails of a sailboat is 390 newtons north. The water exerts a force of 180 newtons east. If the boat, including its crew, has a mass of 270 kilograms, what are the magnitude and direction of its acceleration? So imagine this right here, this box, right, is going to be our boat, right? And so we know it's going to have a force, 390 newtons north, right? So this is north, this is east, this is south, and then this is west, right? And so we also know it's going to have the water, right, is going to exert a force, 180 newtons east, right? So this is the force east, and we also know the mass of our boat, right, including the crew, is 270 kilograms. So in this problem, what we're trying to do is solve for the magnitude and direction of its acceleration. So we're trying to solve for acceleration, right? And so notice what we're given. We're given forces and we're given a mass, right? And so when I see that, what pops in my head is uh, force equals mass times acceleration, right? You should know this formula, right? Because we're given some forces, we're given some mass, and we're trying to solve for acceleration, right? And so I know we're going to use this formula since this is what we're given, right? We're given forces and we're given mass. So that's what we're going to use to solve this, right? But when we do this, right, we know the mass. The mass isn't going to change. But the forces in this case, we're given two different forces, right? One north and one east. So what we need to do is take the resultant of these two forces if we want to plug it in and actually solve for A. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we got to find the resultants, right, of these two forces. And the way we do, uh, we do that is by um, we're going to be using uh, this formula, right? So the resultant is essentially equal to the square root of one of your forces, right? So I'm just going to say uh, 390, right, your top force squared plus the other one squared right and you can see how this works right by pythagorean theorem so if you imagine it like this right a triangle so this is the triangle the force in the x direction is this one right here 180 newtons the force in the y direction though is the one up top 390 right and we're trying to find the resultant which is the hypotenuse right here and so we can use pythagorean right c squared equals a squared plus b squared right and c is just this r right here so if we square root it it's just the square root of a squared plus b squared right and that's exactly what we did right here Right, so it's just 390 plus 180 squared is going to be your resultant. When you do this, you're going to get R is equal to uh, 430 newtons. Right, so you're going to get about that. I'm just rounding, right, because it's 429.53. So I'm just rounding to 430, but it's about 430 newtons. That's going to be the resultant uh, force. Right, and so now we've got F, and we know M, and so we can solve for A. So A is just going to be equal to you divide both sides by M. It's just your force, which is 430. Right, divided by the mass, right, which is 270. So you want to go ahead and do this 430 divided by 270. And if you want to use the more exact value, you can. But it's essentially going to be equal to, or A equals 1.59, uh, 259, and so on. Right, so it's about uh, 1.6. Right, and then the units are just meters per second uh, squared. Meters per second squared, because we used uh, newtons right here at kilograms. So now we've got the acceleration, right? So we have the magnitude of its acceleration. So this is your first part. And now we need to find the direction. So how do you find the direction uh, for this? So if you're given two things, right? So imagine like this, where you have the x force and the y force. If you want to calculate the direction it goes in, what you can do is just take the arc tangent of the y force over the x force, right? So this is the formula you can use if you want to go ahead and solve for it, right? And you can do this if they're both going in the positive or down like this, right? So you just want to take your y force over your x force, and that's going to give it to you. So take the arctangent of the y, right? And we know the y is just going to be uh, 390, right? So 390 divided by the x-force, which is 180. So plug this in your calculator, arctangent of 390 over 180, right? And when you do this, uh, you're going to get it equals 65.22485 and so on. So essentially 65.2. And then keep in mind this is in degrees, right? So make sure when you do this, your calculator is in degrees. But yeah, so 65.2 degrees, that's going to be the direction, right? And then the magnitude was 1.6 meters per second squared. So yeah, these are your two answers, and hopefully you found this useful.